on this week's episode of Bayou Wild TV. We're right on the border of Orleans and St. Bernard Parish, right there by the banks of Bayou Bienvenue, and we're out here bow fishing with Bayou Bow Fishing Charters and a special guest, Miss Louisiana. <laughs> this was very difficult. I mean, you had to kind of gauge where they were in the water and make those adjustments on site while the fish is still moving. So it's definitely a sport and I credit a lot of the people who are very, very good at it because it took me a lot of missing um, to learn how to do it well. Closed captioning is brought to you by Global Outdoors. Find your next adventure and share your experiences with others by downloading the Global Outdoors mobile app or visiting globaloutdoors.com. Every day, we strive to preserve traditions that have spanned generations. Around every turn of the bayou, Mother Nature reveals unique people, places, and experiences. And the bounty of animals and fish. Well, in Louisiana, we just call that land yak. I'm Don Debut. I'm Chris Lacop. I'm Captain Martha Spencer. Join us as we document the adventure, sportsmanship, and heritage that make us buy you why. Welcome to another edition of Bayou Wild TV, a very special episode where tonight we're going out with Miss Louisiana's royal team of archers. Meet Sir Jim, Sir Mark, Sir Drew, Sir Cameron, and of course, Miss Louisiana herself, Gracie. Hey! What's going on tonight? We're going to shoot some fish. What kind of fish? All kinds. Big fish? Yes, Let's with our bows. Get, let's go get them. <laughs> Stay with us, you're watching Bayou Wild TV. On a previous episode of Bayou Wild TV, we introduced you to Miss Louisiana 2022, Gracie Reichman. I'm a big animal girl, so growing up I wanted to be a vet. Um, so I have my dog, who's a black lab, spending time with my animals, my family, especially my support system, really made me who I am today. So I lean into them a lot when I'm in my free time as Gracie, not really Miss Louisiana. <laughs> I grew up hunting with my dad. That was our special thing to do during hunting season. So I've killed a couple bucks in my 22 years. I've fished a couple of times, um, but I'm definitely excited to kind of broaden my horizons with Bayou Wild TV this year. Today, we've invited Gracie on another Bayou Wild adventure. We're going to test her archery skills along with her team of Royal Archers. So I did 4-H when I was um, in sixth through eighth grade. I went to state a couple times. I felt really fancy, but it's been a while since I picked up a bow since then. But I think some of those traits and those lessons that I learned way back when kind of stuck with me tonight. Coming up on Bayou Wild, <laughs> bow fishing with Gracie Reichman, Miss Louisiana. He met her. <laughs> Met a match, too. <laughs> One of the reasons why Double D has been around for 50 years is because we are consistent with what built the business. 
and, and we go to great lengths to make sure that when you bring a, a deer or a hog or whatever it may be, your meat stays your meat all the way through the process. But we want to be as true to the original intent, which is a local meat company. And, and that's something that we want to maintain for as long as the Lord lets us do it. Become a supporter of the Louisiana Wildlife Agents Association today by visiting supportlwaa.org. Browse the selection of exclusive gear including t-shirts in a variety of colors and styles, plus hats, koozies, and more. Gear up today and support the LWAA. Don the Outdoors Guy here to tell you about my Mr. Outdoors portable butane stove, a camp breakfast in the woods, frying a hot shoreline lunch, or thankfully serving up a candlelight dinner when the power is out, the Mr. Outdoors portable stove in its compact carrying case is there whenever I need it. Find Mr. Outdoors cookout stoves and durable stainless steel portable charcoal grills at MROutdoorsCookout.com. Use discount code DDKK23. I'm Meredith Pelche from Thibodeau, Louisiana, and I won this boat from CCA Star in their raffle drawing. I love to fish, probably since I was about five, six years old. Oh, I'm very excited. It was totally unexpected. Continuing this week's episode, it's an early summer night in the Louisiana marsh, and we're on a quest to spot fish. But tonight, we're not equipped with rods and reels. And no, it's not as easy as shooting fish in a barrel. So you just turned up. Look, yeah. it's just like you. Chop below. We're right on the border of Orleans and St. Bernard Parish, right there by the banks of Bayou Bienvenue, and we're out here bow fishing with Bayou Bow Fishing Charters and a special guest, Miss Louisiana. Oh, that was good. <laughs> we tried. After talking with them, you know, before this trip started, I was, uh, I was a little worried. You know, I wanted to make sure everybody got a couple fish. Got a brim. Cabbage. <laughs> You know, for those of you who may be sitting home and saying, gee, that's so easy, you put lights on them and you shoot the fish at close range, you're shooting fish in a barrel, don't ever believe that. Everybody that I've ever gone bow fishing with will attest to the fact that it, it sounds and looks a lot easier than what it is. You've got light refraction, you've got to consider the depth, the fish are moving, the boat's moving. Sometimes the water's a little dingy, they're hard to spot. It is not all that easy, and when you shoot a fish with a bow and arrow, you've earned it. Up front? Yeah. Come on, we got it? very difficult. I mean, you had to kind of gauge where they were in the water and make those adjustments on site while the fish is still moving. So it's definitely a sport and I credit a lot of the people who are very, very good at it because it took me a lot of missing um, to learn how to do it well. I just had to boost my confidence a little bit. <laughs> All right, great But one of the crewmates told me, if you're going low, go even lower and then shoot. And then you might, might. It's a really fun time, you know. You may shoot at 100 fish and only get 10. 
but it adds for the challenge and you see what you're after, so it makes you enjoy the night by seeing the amount of fish you see uh, on an average trip. expected Gracie to do well, although she was a little concerned because she hadn't shot in a while, but you know, shooting a bow, if you got that eye to hand coordination skill, it's kind of like uh, riding a bicycle or hitting a baseball, it really never goes away and it certainly didn't leave her right from the very beginning. She was on target and she was nailing those fish. So they spotted it for me, and then they told me to shoot, and then I aimed low, but then went lower, like I was told. Oh, man! Got him! He's a big old boy. Mostly gar. Those were the biggest ones that I could get my hands on. Um, I could see the catfish a little bit, but gar were probably my favorite. Uh, we do play a big part with uh, redfish, uh, blue cats. Um, that would be our biggest two. Uh, followed by some trophy alligator gar trips. Um, and we do, in the fall of the year, we like to get in uh, some flounder trips in there. Um, but all that has to come into play with Mother Nature and, and have the conditions to allow us to go after those fish at that time. And her dad, towards the end of the trip, I want to say he shot about five shots and got four fish. So he, he definitely got on a roll. Um, they did very well. I'd say uh, above average. You know, they, they were definitely above average. So my dad was here with me bow fishing tonight. Really incredible experience. Like I said, he taught me to hunt and fish growing up. So what an incredible opportunity to get to share that with me as Miss Louisiana. So to have him here tonight was really special. We've made a lot of really great memories uh, today. And like I said, he'll be back and I'm sure both of us will plan a trip to come back. So I know he's proud of my bow shooting ability and then he got in his mojo later on tonight. So we had a really great time together. You know, he taught me way back when, but I think he took pointers from me tonight and then got his mojo later on. So he learned from me tonight. Double yeah. team, yeah. <laughs> It definitely, uh, they, they impressed me, you know? I was, I was worried a little too much, apparently. Nice shot, good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. In Louisiana, food brings everyone together. These are the flavors that make friends out of total strangers. The flavors that remind you of home. It's the meals you crave, that take time, that show love. Because in Louisiana, we cook. 
And we know that when we come together to cook and eat, life gets better. So pull up a chair, leave room for seconds, and pass a good time. Because life needs Louisiana flavor, baby. We love our children. We protect them. We guide them. We prepare them for life in the world. With all that we do, from deep in our hearts, we cannot control all things. Life-threatening illnesses and disabilities affect far too many of our children each year. While we cannot change the circumstance, we can make dreams come true. Dreams to provide hope, to provide spiritual healing and strength, to provide moments of happiness and relief in the hardest of times. We can give a glimmer of light and hope in a time of darkness and despair. Join HuntOfALifetime.org to help make dreams come true, to provide hope for children with life-threatening illnesses and disabilities. Hunt of a Lifetime is a nonprofit organization fulfilling dreams for hunting and fishing trips to youth 21 and under with life-threatening illnesses and disabilities. Visit HuntOfALifetime.org to learn how you can make a difference. Welcome back. We're here at White Oak Plantation with Chef John Foles. It's summertime. Snapper season is open. So what are we making today? Well, I tell you what, when you say snapper season is open, what else do we want right, right. now, right? <laughs> Beautiful fish. The texture is absolutely fantastic. And the good thing about snapper, especially as a restaurateur, is the diversity of that fish. Now, of course, the Gulf is full of fish that we can do all of these different culinary techniques with, especially today where we're doing so much grilling, so many whole fish roasting in our mm -hmm. wood-fired ovens. I don't know how many people are doing whole fish roasting, but they should, especially if you have about a, a nice up to, to throw it in, nothing better. Uh, but I think uh, with snapper, you know, just the, the bite of the meat, the, 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 the moistness of it, the flavor of that fish is absolutely incredible. And I could say that about most fish in the Gulf, right? Yes. But uh, take a look at this right, uh, right here. We've, uh, we've just taken a nice fillet. We took the skin off. Now, of course, you can leave okay. the skin on if you want to. And a lot of times I will leave the skin on because I like the flavor of that skin coming through the fish as well. Uh, but going on the grill, especially with if you're going to be feeding a group, some people just want to make a, a quick little grab it, dip a little sauce, are as we're doing today we're going to fire roast it over here on our barbecue pit okay so uh here's the uh, here's the filet and of course uh uh i, I want to i'm doing a blt today okay. just uh, have you ever done a, a, i've a, had a regular blt i've never had one with fish on it uh, you hadn't had a BLT. I haven't had yeah. a, a BLTF. <laughs> you hadn't had a BLT. So what I'm doing, I, I cut the fish the mm -hmm. size of my bun. Now, of right. course, depending, you know, some folks got those big seeded buns, and that's great, too. The first thing I'm going to do is to season. You can actually grab some of that salt. Uh, that's the granulated garlic. You can put some of that on. And don't be bashful. You want to get it onto the, onto the fish. And uh, I like cracked. You see this coarsely ground pepper here? Yes. If you have a pepper mill, which I know everybody has sitting in their cabinet, somebody gave them for Christmas and they right. hadn't taken it out yet, take it out on this fish it. right here. That's right. So do you do a lot of any grilling of fish? Oh, all the time. Absolutely. I love, I love it. I'm put a it's little great bit. in the summer because you're outside and you're you know, hanging out with friends and it's just a casual environment to be around. Well, also just uh, just fish in general is so great for the grill. It yes. picks up the smoke, it picks up the flavor of the grill, it picks up all of the herb seasonings you put on it, and it cooks in just a few minutes. And when you cook with the skin on, sometimes it's like a natural tinfoil. Uh, absolutely it is. Now, one of the things that I like to do, and even in even in the restaurants, I'll take an all-purpose vegetable spray, which is a really, really nice, and I'll just put it on the outside of the fish that I'm going to throw on the grill so side down stick. and the grill is already uh oil a little bit as well now you see how nice and hot that is i Very have hot. it on high i'm going to put my herbs on it now i'm going to go ahead and put some bay and of course you know a lot of people are afraid of herbs not quite knowing what to do with them yeah and you Cook. don't think about them grilling with herbs a yeah lot. no of course so you're going to put a little bit base uh, Basil thyme tarragon okay fish basil thyme tarragon basil, that, and everybody thyme, has tarragon. that in their garden right uh, at least I think everybody has it in their garden. I have a lot of if it. If you don't plant it now, it'll grow quick. <laughs> and tarragon loves fish. In fact, God made fish in tarragon on the same day. <laughs> so this is uh, so we're gonna put a little tarragon on it like that, and then I'll pat that stick. to yeah, I'll make that fish. Okay, give. Now I want you to uh, take it and you can throw it right onto the grill, uh, the the uh, side down, this side down, 
and just kind of uh, lay it on that grill. The grill has already been oiled too. Right, you want to have a clean grill, I imagine. Oh yeah, oh absolutely, because you don't want your fish falling apart on the grill. People ask me all the time. Picking I put my, up stuff from other other meals. <laughs> yeah, now that's all you. Let's leave that piece okay. off. Now, the, now what I want you to do is to close that lid. Now the reason I'm closing that lid right now is because I want the natural drippings of that fish hitting that fire to bounce right back ah. on to the fish and start to add that beautiful flavor to it. And you know, we're using a red snapper today, but just think of the amount of fish out in the, out in the Gulf that you can actually, you, you know, the red fish on the, uh, uh, on, the, on the half shell has been a big, big favorite for the same reason. It picks up all that beautiful flavor. So uh, you want to take a look, right? It's, yeah, only we'll been, look. it's only been on for a minute. You have a little fish spat right, uh, right next there. to you. Why don't you just take, uh, take that flip little spat. I just want to show people how fast. Take, take that little one right there. Oh, right yeah. Just slip it on and flip it over. Look at that, guys. You already have your grill marks on it. Uh, that fish is about 50% cooked already. Now, we can leave the bigger uh, piece right there. Uh, now, now, let's do this. On the bigger piece, I want to season it because that fish piece is so large, and you can do it right on the, on grill, the grill like that. And that's a nice technique because the pepper will start to burn in the fire as well, and you're going to have a really, really nice flavor. You with me? Yeah, so when we come back, we're going to take this off the grill, plate it up, make the sandwich, and show you how good it is. And looks. you can flip that big one now. All right. And close that lid, girl. Get we'll that right smoke, back. and that fish is crying for that smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Delta Marina is Plaquemines Parish fishing one-stop. Get live bait, fuel, ice, tackle, and marine supplies. Then launch into the world's most productive saltwater fishing. Return to the fishing cleaning station, relax in first-class cabins overlooking the bayou, all in Delta Marina's safety video monitored parking lot. Need a fishing charter guide? Delta Marina can hook you up. Cook your catch in your kitchenette or dine in the upstairs restaurant. Visit Delta Marina for a day or a week. Stop in just off Highway 11 down Rosemary Drive in Empire. Visit the deltamarina.com. Become a supporter of the Louisiana Wildlife Agents Association today by visiting supportlwaa.org. Browse the selection of exclusive gear, including t-shirts in a variety of colors and styles, plus hats, koozies, and more. Gear up today and support the LWAA. We're back. We're about to take our grilled snapper off the grill and plate it up into the sandwich. We're going to move over to the grill now. Okay. Now, remember, I put a little vegetable spray right. on one side. I want you to take your little fish spat and pick up that fish right there. We didn't put spray on the on that side. Now, and flip it over. you see what happens. Yeah, you see oh, you it lost apart. it all right there. Yeah. So, you're ready to go. We put a yes. little, uh, so always, always spray the, the fish on each side before you put it on the grill and spray the grill. So now we have a little ramelade sauce on top of this. So you have the bottom here. You ready to go? Put some, is this bib lettuce? That's bib lettuce. But of course, use lettuce, uh, you know, if, you're in the, if you have a, a good, uh, good, uh, uh, you know, lettuce in the garden, put it in there. Use beautiful your own. tomatoes. I'm going to go ahead and grab this okay. beautiful piece of fish. Look at that one right there. And put that right on top. Like that. And now one of the second best parts to the fish. Uh, <laughs> this beautiful. That, that beautiful bacon. But hold on, let me put, what we're going to do with that. Put one tomato double on decker. top. Oh yeah, you got double decker. Now put a good crisscross on that. Not gonna be stingy huh? with the bacon. Oh no, no, you gotta put it. And that's applewood smoke with a little brown sugar on top oh, of it. Yeah. Now you just when you put it on that, just give it a good press right there. Let that fish know you're in command. I'm right? in command. I'm about to be in <laughs> command of this sandwich. <laughs> just get the cold beer out of the box. There you I mean, go. what else do you need, right? A beautiful red snapper BLT, perfect for your summertime grill. <laughs> Some things in life smell delicious. Others, not so much. Like a gas leak. Propane, for instance, is naturally odorless. That's why we add strong odorants to alert you if there is a leak. So if you ever smell gas, turn your system off at the tank and call your propane dealer immediately. Propane is a safe and exceptional fuel, and we want to keep it that way. I'm Meredith Pelche from Thibodeau, Louisiana, and I won this boat from CCA Star in their raffle drawing. I love to fish, probably since I was about five, six years old. Oh, I'm very excited. It was totally unexpected.
Don the Outdoors Guy here to tell you about my Mr. Outdoors portable butane stove. A camp breakfast in the woods, frying a hot shoreline lunch, or thankfully serving up a candlelight dinner when the power is out, the Mr. Outdoors portable stove in its compact carrying case is there whenever I need it. Find Mr. Outdoors cookout stoves and durable stainless steel portable charcoal grills at MROutdoorsCookout.com. Use discount code DDKK23. Once again, we enjoyed the company of Gracie and her dad on this Bayou Wild bow fishing adventure. This trip was one of Gracie's final duties during her reign as Miss Louisiana. It's completely incredible how different the same state is, but two very different sides of what we talked about, I-10. Um, I love the scenery. I love that most people have houses right here on the water and can go fish and go out on their boat at any point of the day that they want to. So it's been really incredible getting to travel down south, way down south Louisiana um, as Miss Louisiana this year. Best experience, I had like dirt, slime, grease all over me, but it was the best time. Um, number one top appearance of this year. And not long after she retired the bow and arrow, she would also be passing the Miss Louisiana crown on to the next deserving young woman. We really enjoy these trips with Miss Louisiana and thanks to the Louisiana Propane Association, they're one of the major sponsors and they make these trips possible. And these girls really love to get out here. So far, all the Miss Louisianas we've had out have been real down home girls and really take to the hunting and fishing. And we really enjoy having them as guests embark on things that might scare you because a lot of those opportunities and taking that leap of faith might bring you somewhere really incredible. So embrace whatever takes you outside of your comfort zone and really lean into it and learn from it. Louisiana is sportsman's paradise through and through and so this is part of our culture that connects us as a community. So this is just part of an everyday activity for people that live in Louisiana and anywhere else it's kind of foreign and a weird concept but something that we enjoy to do and hopefully I know I'll be back and my dad's already planning a trip to come back. Miss Louisiana says it's a bad day to be a fish. <laughs> And we couldn't think of a better way to enjoy Louisiana's outdoors than to share one of her last experiences as an honorary Lady Ambassador of the Adventure, Sportsmanship, and Heritage of Bayou Wild.